Now let's ask uh, the different question. ROM full form. So it has replied with read only memory pairs. So I ask capital of India. It's going to give me the Delhi as answer. Okay. So I ask which company do I work? No way. It's going to give me reply that I don't want to tell you. Okay. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to see how you can create the chatbot. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is the first session uh, from the Azure perspective. So we are going to see how you can create the chatbot using q and Maker. In the next session, we'll see how you can create the chatbot using Louis. Okay. Uh, we will we'll implement some uh, uh, AI AI pattern as well. So uh, in this session, we'll see like using q and Maker. So q and Maker is nothing but a knowledge base. So you'll be creating your knowledge base, having all the questions and answers. So let's start with q and Maker. So uh, before going into the q and Maker, first of all, you need to make your account into the Azure portal. So the same account can be used for the q and Maker as well. OK, so I do have the account on Azure portal. OK, so you need Microsoft account either at the rate uh, uh, leave in or at the rate uh, outlook.com okay so make sure you are uh, making your account and uh, you can purchase some uh, free subscription for one month so they are giving you 14,500 rupees which you can use till one month and then if you want to continue then you have to pay okay but in order to learn all this stuff i think uh, one month is uh, fine okay so what we'll do is uh, we'll start with uh, creating the knowledge base first okay so let's open the qna maker first so I will, uh, so whatever the website I'm opening, right? I will be pasting the link in the description box. Okay, so you can directly click on the link and you can open the websites. So you need to open qnamaker.ai. So let's open this. So you can see uh, it will it will uh, log in with my account. Okay, so this is my account, uh, the Azure account. Okay, now here what you have to do is you have to create a knowledge base first. Okay, so let's click on this create a knowledge base. Okay so here you need to create a q a service okay so uh, let me tell you you can create a q a service from here also so go to create a resource and type q a service q a maker rather okay so this is your q a maker so you can create from here also or you can create from here also so even if you are clicking this right it will take you to the azure portal so let's create a q a service first so see it is redirecting to the azure okay So the subscription is free trial resource group. You can select uh, the resource group that you have created. Name is something that uh, let me choose Q and A. Let me give my name Pankaj then. Oh, demo. Okay. Make sure this is available. This name is available. Okay. So this is available here. Pricing tier. You can select anything. Uh, let's select S zero. Uh, Azure search location. Let me select Asia. Okay, East Asia. Where is that? This one. So make sure you are selecting both the location as same. So select East Asia. Now review and create. Okay, what it says. Validation field required information is missing or not valid. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. See what is missing. Okay, pricing tier. Pricing tier is something here. So let's select standard. Then review and let's create it. So this has been created. Now the deployment has been started if you see. So let it be deployed. Okay, so you can uh, see the QA uh, Maker Azure service under your dashboard. Okay. So if you remember what is the name we have given, so we have given it as QA Pankaj Demo, right? So this is the one. So this is the one. This is the service which has been created. Okay. Uh, just remember we need to create one chatbot also. Okay. So the same thing uh, we can create from here, but uh, we'll use the QA Maker to create that as well. So it will redirect here and it will create it. Okay. Now the next next thing is you need to uh, uh, you need to build your questions and answers. Okay, so for that uh, either you can use some online resource or you can create your own file. Okay, so what we can do is we can create our own file. Uh, so let's create one Excel file. Okay, 
so we can open one excel so this is how you can create your uh, knowledge base okay so you can write question here then you can write answer here I'm just uh, creating three questions as of now so uh, once this file is loaded we can add more questions there okay so let's save this file AB demo this is the name I'm giving okay let's save it now what you can do here is uh, the QA maker we have created right the service we have created the next step is you need to refresh it so that that given a service will be loaded here whatever you have created and then you can select that so, so subscription you need to select as free trial because that is what you have so see the account is loaded off as your now q a service if you remember this is the something we have created right given a pankaj demo so it is giving you the option now it will ask you to select the language so in language you can select english okay uh you can give the name of your knowledge base okay so let's give uh, the name as pankaj demo okay so let's give the name as this one okay now it is asking you to add the url or add the file so if you remember we have created the file right so we are going to add the file here let's go to the document and then we can add this okay this file is in use so first we need to close it and then we can select it okay so this has been selected now from this one like uh, it will give you some extra options so you can select anything here okay so let's select this vt and then you can click on the create your kv so it is going to create your knowledge base okay guys so if you see this is your uh, knowledge base uh, this is something which uh, created okay so if you see all the three questions have been loaded here okay so what is your name that is something we have given in the excel sheet where do you leave and what is the full form of rom okay so this is something coming from the cheat chat so this is something from the cheat chat okay so if you want to add some more question right you can add it here okay so you can click on this add q a pair and it is going to add the question and answer here so let's add something uh let's write india capital and give the answer as not this one enter an answer as that be okay so that is fine and add one given a uh, what we can give you here so uh, which company do you you know so you can give something as i don't want to tell you okay this is done now what you can do here is after after adding the questions okay question and answer you need to click on save and train so that uh, your bot can be trained so let's click on save and train we will test this knowledge base here itself and then we will be creating a chatbot test it here so if i write what is your name it's going to give me pankaj okay Okay, I got it. Uh, why it is giving this one, right? So you can go to the settings, and you need to make that chat as off. Okay, because this is something which is like destroying your question or answer. So you need to delete it, and then you can save and train. Okay, this is applying some some of its brain, uh, which is not authentic in our case. Okay, so we have deleted that chit chat. Now, if you go and test, it is going to give you the exact stuff. Okay, what is your name? So it has given you Pankaj, right? So, uh, what are the other questions we have? Uh, where do you live, right? So, this would give me Delhi. See, so it is giving, right? So, I don't want to tell you. So, this is your bot, okay? Now, the next thing is, okay? You need to publish this okay so once you publish this this is going to give you some keys which you can use in your azure uh, bot so let's publish this 
so guys if you see uh the so guys if you see the q and uh, knowledge base has been created and it has been uh, published okay so now if you want you can create a bot okay so let's create a bot so once you create the bot right all these things are going to be added there automatically okay otherwise if you want to create a bot from here okay so you need to go to create a resource okay so this is the bot which you are going to create right so we can create it from there also so uh, let's go to the key and maker uh, and create a bot from here okay it is going to redirect you to the azure portal and from there you can create your bot so all this basic stuff it is going to give you so the bot handle if you want you can change it here also so i'm going to make it as it is okay so this bit this will be your uh, website name okay dot azure websites dot net uh, is there anything that i need to give nothing i believe so location should be your uh, east asia right you need to make sure you're giving the same location that we have given there so east asia you can keep it here uh, apart from this i think everything looks fine so uh, let's create it so this is going to create a chatbot for you okay and the same chatbot you can deploy to any of the channels like facebook uh, skype ms team anywhere so i'll be showing you how you can deploy your chatbot okay and you can like give it to other people to use it so the deployment is in progress now okay so your deployment is done right now you can click on go to resource okay uh if you see now uh, the bot profile okay so this is your uh, display name this bot handle okay so when you add that to channels okay ms team or anywhere else this is the username it is going to uh, display for this bot okay if you go to the configuration this is your messaging endpoint okay so let's test this in a web chat okay so we are not on the QA maker anymore okay we are on the azure portal so right so well, this is the greeting from the uh, bot okay so if you ask this bot any question that you have set okay it is going to display you the answer otherwise it is going to tell you no good match found in the kb that is knowledge base okay so let's ask the question what is my name So it's uh, giving you Pankaj, right? Now let's ask the next question. Which come? I work in, okay. So no need to ask the specific question, okay? Even if you're writing uh, the question in close way, like uh, not the specific question. see it is giving you everything right whatever we are asking this bot is replying right now the next thing is uh, everyone cannot use this bot because uh, this is in your personal account so what we usually do is we deploy this bot to some of the channels okay so let's see what are the channels available to you now so these are the channels where you can deploy your bot this is direct line speech direct line email facebook group me microsoft teams and there are so many things okay so let's deploy this to the microsoft teams uh, most of you might be using microsoft teams right or facebook let's apply this so it is going to deploy this to the microsoft teams okay so if you guys are liking uh, the similar content right uh, then you do subscribe the channel and share the content with your friend maybe this kind of content will help them so i think this uh, channel has been added so in order to check uh, let's do one thing let's go to overview and come back to this channel again so now here if you see the channels you will be able to see this microsoft teams okay now if you click on open in teams this is going to open this spot in the microsoft teams let's click it here okay so if you see this given a pankaj demo bot has been added to my teams okay so if i write something this is going to reply me okay so let's write me the same question what is your name so once it is reading once it reads it is going to give you the reply so hello and welcome is the first greeting that this bot needs to give but it has given me now so but it has given you the answer also right pankaj now let's ask uh, the different question rom full form
so it has replied with read only memory pairs if i ask capital of india it's going to give me the delhi as answer okay if i ask which company do i work no way it's going to give me reply that i don't want to tell you okay so this is how like you can train your bot so this is not the uh, like uh, limited stuff right so if you want to train your bot if you want to add more number of questions and answers okay then you can go and add it to your q a maker and then you can republish it okay so once you republish it it is automatically added right it will synchronize and uh, it is going to give you the answer accordingly okay so that was all about the uh, today's session guys so thank you bye bye take care